Hi everyone, it's Molly Matthews. I thought I'd just uh, say Merry Christmas to you all and just share uh, a little wee excerpt from one of my favourite stories, Flight of Passion. It's a story about love amongst the butterflies. So, I hope you enjoy it. It's for Lorenzo who brings love to life. Prologue. Growing up, Oliver was left with the impression he wasn't worthy. First by his parents, who at the age of four sent him to the bottom of the world, it was as if they didn't know what to do with their infinitely curious and energetic child. It was as if sending him to the most prestigious boarding school in New Zealand absolved them of their responsibility, the responsibility which was every parent's, or should be, he thought bitterly, to love their child unconditionally. After his run-in with a box of matches, they told him he would amount to nothing. He proved them wrong. At 16, he left his family in New Zealand and headed for New York. It was true, if he could make it there, he could make it anywhere. With the ruthless determination he was a he was both admired and feared for. Like King Kong on steroids, he quickly climbed to the top of the property acquisition tree. He was king of the beasts, the man everybody wanted at their dreary New York parties, full of checkbook philanthropists who would never stoop to get close to the people their showy donations benefited. Parties like the one where he'd first met Ruby Diaz. Ruby had fluttered into his light like a breath of fresh air. She had lit up the room with her illuminating presence and dazzlingly rare beauty, not just on the outside, but on the inside too. Her authenticity had the scent of violets, too guileless for pretense. His darling Ruby. Oliver swallowed hard, refusing to succumb to the wave of angry hurt that swam from his heart to his throat. For three blissful years they were inseparable, but no matter how much success he acquired, how extraordinarily wealthy he became, he wasn't good enough for the Diaz's darling Ruby. He never knew why she flew from his life. Disappearing as quickly as she'd arrived, she had said nothing, given him no explanation, not even the courtesy of a call. The Diaz family and the way Ruby had callously abandoned him reminded Oliver he would never be worthy. He was unlovable. Perhaps he should thank them for sparing him further hurt. Thanks to them and his hopeless parents, he swore never to love again. And that suited him just fine. But as you'll see when you read this beautiful story, uh, Ruby uh, flutters back into his life. So I hope you enjoyed this wee excerpt. I hope wherever you are in the world, that you're curled up with a good romance and with someone you love. This has been Molly Matthews. Much love.